For this year's edition in the free software series, we made the criteria quite simple. The program must be free of cost with the essential features that most people want included free of charge. Every type of free software was considered for this video, except for those only offering free trials. To weed out the bad, I will show you 10 free programs in a variety of categories that are actually great. All of these can be installed on Windows computers, with some also being available for Linux and Mac. Let's get to it. With 10 to show you, I'll go through these quicker than usual. First up is XNView MP. This is not the standard image viewer. It supports more than 500 file formats and includes a ton of useful features. It has flexible batch processing, tools to keep your photos organized, and its photo editor allows you to easily resize and crop, provide simple adjustments to contrast and brightness, and you can also apply effects and filters to improve your image. In the main window, when you double click on any image, it will open up in a new tab. This is where you can edit your photo. There's a bar at the top with the primary tools with additional tools in the various menus. XNView MP is completely free for personal use. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Autodesk Sketchbook is a professional quality drawing program for creatives. It's designed for serious artists and illustrators. It used to cost around $30 per year, and now it's completely free. It includes more than 190 customizable brushes, and you can build your drawing with the use of layers. It's compatible with various file types, including JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and BMP. It's even fully compatible with Photoshop's PSD format. Sketchbook is user-friendly with a clean-looking, no-frills interface, making it easier to get started using it than with similar programs. If you need help using it, there are tons of tutorials online and on YouTube that will teach you how to use it. Sketchbook does require that you create an account following a 7-day trial period to continue using it. It's not considered a free trial because there is nothing to upgrade to. It's still completely free for individual use with all the pro features included. It's available for Windows and Mac. If you're using Adobe Acrobat Reader and want more features, Foxit Reader just might be what you're looking for. It's great for creating PDFs from common file formats with tools for collaboration built in. It also makes it easy to sign documents, either in your own handwriting or by using e-signature. Foxit Reader utilizes the familiar looking ribbon at the top, which includes their handy PDF sign feature. Foxit Reader is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. For my fellow programmers, Visual Studio Code is a powerful source code editor developed by Microsoft. What makes it great is that it's packed full of useful features for developers. Its IntelliSense code completion feature speeds up the process of coding by helping to complete the code text along with function definitions. It also has a huge database with hundreds of installable extensions to import new languages, debuggers, and themes. When you launch Visual Studio Code for the first time, you'll notice the default theme is dark. To change it, go to Settings in the lower left and select Color Theme. You'll now have several light and dark themes to choose from. My personal favorite is Abyss. Visual Studio Code was created by Microsoft, so of course it's available for Windows. You can also get it for Linux and Mac. Audacity is a well-known free and open source audio editor and recorder. It's used by many professionals, including those that produce podcasts, and it's also easy to use for beginners. In addition to the standard recording and editing options, it features multi-track mixing with sample rates up to 96 kilohertz with 32 bits per sample, and plugins can be added to enhance its functionality. Don't let its outdated interface fool you. It's still a powerful program. You'll find the primary tools here at the top to edit your audio. It's updated on a regular basis and available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you need to do an analysis of the hardware on your computer, HW Info is what I recommend. It provides extensive information about your hardware and includes real-time system monitoring. Depending on how you have it set up, you'll have a separate window with your system summary of your key components. If you don't need this window, you can close it out or move it. Along the left, selecting any component will give you additional information to the right. HW Info is only available for Windows with the standard installer and two portable options, including one for DOS. 
I've tested several VPNs over the years, and Proton VPN is one of only a few I've used with a free tier of service that doesn't suck. It's actually really good. Some of you may be familiar with or using the Swiss-based encrypted email service Proton Mail, which has been gaining popularity over the last couple of years. Proton VPN is from those same people. Unlike most free VPNs that have data caps, with the free tier of Proton VPN, you get unlimited bandwidth, so you can use it as much as you want. There are no ads, and because it's based in Switzerland, it's protected by Swiss privacy laws. The only downsides are that you're limited to one device with three locations to choose from, and the speed is not the greatest. For security reasons, I can't show you the interface, but if you'd like to try it out, it's available for the three major operating systems with mobile apps for both iOS and Android. If you're a Windows user, then you already know that their search function is not very good. Everything is a program I've used for years to quickly find files and folders on my computer. It's simple to use and low on system resources. When you open the program, it will initially display every file and folder on your computer. Just start typing in the search box and it will limit what is displayed to find what you're looking for immediately. It's my humble opinion that this program should be built into the Windows operating system to become the default search tool. Everything is completely free and it's supported by donations from users. If you're looking for a free alternative to Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape is what you want. This free and open source vector graphics editor is feature filled to create scalable logos, icons, and illustrations. It includes a wide set of tools for object creation and manipulation. Its primary file format is SVG and is compatible with JPEG, PNG, PDF, and many others. When you open up Inkscape, you'll find the tools along the left and the right with a color bar at the bottom. It does have a high learning curve, so I'd recommend checking out the tutorials on their website to get more familiar with the program. Inkscape is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, and they even provide the raw source code. Revo Uninstaller Free does what you'd expect. It removes programs from your computer you no longer need, along with the junk that sometimes gets left behind by a program's own uninstaller. It's available for Windows XP through 10. To remove a program, select it from the list and click on Uninstall. It will create a system restore point, then proceed with the uninstall process. I'll check the box to delete the user data, then click on Uninstall. I'll ignore this window and click on Uninstall. And then yes. And when that's done, you can have it scan your system to look for leftover files, folders, and registry items. There are three scanning modes. Move your cursor over each one to get more details. I usually leave it on moderate, then click on scan. If it finds leftover items, you have the choice to select those items individually or select all. After you've chosen the items to remove, click on delete. In the pop-up, click on yes. There's additional items here, so I'll select all of these. Click delete again, yes, and that's it, we're done. With certain programs, there may be some items that are not removed until you restart your computer. The free plan will be all that most people will need. If you want additional features, Revo Uninstaller Pro costs around $25. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite free software? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the newest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.